Point C is a point where conflict does not exist. As a right angle is found at every point on the circumference, we can conclude that the circle has the psychological property of peace, which is a place where conflict is resolved. The circle therefore means resolution of conflict. Its number is 6, which is also the number that the ancients gave to the sun. God the Father, symbolized by the last tarot card, called the universe, has therefore chosen the Son as the solution to all things, the resolution of all conflicts. This is a basic theme in the New Testament of the Bible. If the circle symbolizes heaven, then the diameter is not hell, because then the circle and diameter would be opposites and at war with each other. This is a very powerful misthought. Indeed, if the circle represents heaven, then the diameter symbolizes the conflict of heaven and hell. If point A is heaven, then point B is hell. At C, hell has no effect on heaven. This means that as far as the circle is concerned, hell does not exist as it has no influence on heaven. You cannot meaningfully compare heaven as it is with heaven coupled with hell. There are similarities, but heaven on the diameter's extreme is periodically interrupted by hell. It's like getting the aircraft motor running. Then as you taxi on the runway, ready for takeoff, the ego mind interrupts with a problem and you have to start over again. And so it goes on. Or even worse, the ego mind allows you to take off, as he has a greater disaster planned for you. Essentially, life on the diameter is a series of hurdles you have to overcome. But heaven, as found on the circumference of the circle, is never interrupted by any opposing force. The reality of the circle therefore views the contradictions in the diameter as illusions, which means that for the circle, the diameter is not really there because of the right angle that the diameter subtends at the circumference. The right angle undoes the diameter at the circumference. This is another way of saying that the right angle causes the influence of the diameter to disappear. This is quite a strange idea as, let's face it, we can draw a diameter and it appears real from a theoretical perspective. But it is also not real or not there because of the right angle at the circumference. Talk about potential confusion. This is the ultimate legacy of contradiction that the diameter has left us. The way to resolve this simply is to say that the circle symbolizes reality while the diameter symbolizes illusion. The reality of heaven requires the contradiction of heaven and hell as a stepping stone to create its own eternal reality where everything exists in peaceful coexistence. It's quite a weird idea and is difficult to express in language. It is the correct interpretation of the geometry of the circle, diameter and right angle that has the ability to liberate us from much confusion in our thinking. We must not deviate even slightly from its message. Otherwise, we will be thrown into much distress. As the number of the circle is 6, then the number of the diameter is 5, because the right angle is the symbol for minus 1. We find the correct meanings of the conflicted mind as the number 5 in the tarot cards. In the Babylonian tarot deck, we find that the 5 of discs means trouble. The five of arrows means defeat. The five of cups means loss. The five of ones means conflict. Five is the despair that the seemingly endless cycle of good and evil creates in us. 
but it's all illusion, thanks to the circle and the right angle. The right angle, symbol of the Holy Spirit, leads us on a journey out of the conflict to the lawns of the heavenly kingdom, where peace prevails eternally. If you are trapped in thoughts of conflict, don't fight them, for that will only make matters worse. Give your willingness to be free from conflict to the Holy Spirit. It is His job, as a symbol of the right angle, to undo the ego mind. It is not your job. Therefore let Him get on with it by getting out of the way. We have seen that conflict is insanity, no matter what form it takes. But it is also unreal. The physical world is a place of conflict and contradiction. We only need to evaluate Newton's third law properly and we have all the information we need. Newton's third law says that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. If you take some time to evaluate what this says, you will be very surprised. It means if you want something, it will run away from you. If you don't want something, it will come looking for you. It is the law of insanity, yet we consider it one of the fundamental laws of our science. You may question the validity of using a law of physics to describe a psychological principle. But that's part of the problem. We see everything as separate. No wonder the Buddha said that this world is an illusion. It is all Maya. Jesus kept telling us to renounce this world, not because it is evil, but because it is meaningless. The latest advances in quantum physics are saying the same thing. The more closely you look at the physical world, the more you realize there is nothing there. The law of attraction is the law of the true mind. It extends what it loves. It creates what it finds beautiful. The problem that we have is that the law of attraction is undermined by the unconscious law of opposites. We can get rid of this unconscious law by understanding it better and realizing that it is actually not even there.